what was happening in the last week. The past week saw many developments ranging from political and economic issues to natural disasters across the globe, Africa, the Horn region, and Ethiopia. Today's A Week in Review program of News Analytica will bring to you the key stories that took place at the global, regional, and national levels in the last week. Stay with us. Top news story in the world. One year into the Ukraine-Russian war. The past week marked a year since the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, ordered a special military operation culminating in the invasion of Ukraine, saying that it was necessary to protect Russia's national security. Ukraine has been fighting this war to remain as an independent nation, free of subjugation by Russia, according to Ukrainian officials. In the early months of the war, Russia managed to control a large territory of Ukraine and also attempted to seize the capital, Kiev. Russian attempts to hold much of the Ukrainian territory failed and it now faces the prospect of a long war in the eastern Donbas region. Despite the original setbacks, Moscow still occupies nearly fifth of Ukraine, which it claims to have annexed. Russia's foreign ministry said the world should recognize new territorial realities in Ukraine to achieve peace. It is estimated that thousands of Ukrainian civilians and soldiers on both sides are believed to have died in the war. The war also resulted in catastrophic global economic and humanitarian crisis. A growing number of analysts now consider the war as being not between two states, but rather between an allied West and Russia. Countries in Europe and the US have provided military equipment to assist Ukraine and have sanctioned Russia. International institutions also continue to provide financial assistance to Ukraine, with the World Bank granting more than $20 billion in total assistance to Ukraine since Russia's invasion. In the most recent development in the war, China entered the diplomatic fray and announced a 12-point peace plan to end the war. Beijing called for a ceasefire on Friday, February 24, 2023, with a plan welcomed by Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky but viewed skeptically by the EU and NATO leaders. The Chinese peace plan also urged an end to sanctions that aim to seize Russia's economy. Top news story in Africa. A general election in Nigeria. General elections were held in Nigeria on 25th of February 2023 to elect the president and vice president and members of the Senate and House of Representatives. Incumbent President Muhammadu Buhari is ineligible to run, being term limited. The ruling All Progressive Congress APC, and the People's Democratic Party PDP, have dominated Nigerian politics since the end of military rule in 1999. This election was seen as the tightest race in 24 years of democratic exercise in Nigeria. Peter Obi from the previously little-known Labour Party, Mr. Tinubu from the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, and Atiku Abubakar of the main opposition People's Democratic Party PDP, are all seen as potential winners. There are a total of 15 other presidential candidates. More than 87 million people were eligible to vote, making it the biggest democratic exercise in Africa. Turnout also appears to be high, especially among young people who make up about a third of the eligible voters. A candidate needs to have the most votes and a quarter of ballots cast in 25 of the 36 states plus Abuja to be declared the winner. Otherwise, there will be a runoff within 21 days of first in Nigeria's history. Top news in the Horn of Africa. The severe drought in the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa is experiencing the longest and the most severe drought on record, threatening millions of people with starvation. The prolonged drought in the region has resulted in catastrophic consequences. A large number of people in the region became food insecure and their livestock is nearly wiped out. It is reported that at least 36.4 million people have been affected by severe drought across the Horn region, including 24.1 million in Ethiopia, 7.8 million in Somalia, and 4.5 million in Kenya. According to the Food Security and Nutrition Working Group, between 23 and 26 million people are likely to face acute food insecurity by February 2023, which pastoralist communities rely upon for sustenance and livelihood have died across the region, including 4 million in Ethiopia, 2.5 million in Kenya, and over 3 million in Somalia. Top news stories in Ethiopia. China and Ethiopia to bolster trade and economic ties. In the past week, a high-level Ethiopian government delegation was on an official visit to China. 
the delegation signed a memorandum of understanding with the Chinese government to set up a cooperation working group with a view to boosting bilateral economic and trade relations and strategic fields. The signing was followed by various bilateral meetings including between the governors of the central bank of the two countries on Thursday, February 23, 2023. The National Bank of Ethiopia Governor Mamo Mehratu met with the Director General of the People's Bank of China, Jean Zhongjia, and discussed ways to enhance ties between the two countries and banks. The other member of the visiting delegation, head of the Ethiopian Investment Commission, Lelise Nami, also met with the executives of the five largest Chinese pharmaceutical companies and discussed the investment opportunities of the pharma sector in Ethiopia. A major breakthrough on trade was announced by Beijing that gives Ethiopia a zero-tariff treatment on 98% of goods exported to China starting from March 1, 2023. This was our news analysis for the week, and we hope you join us on the next one, and thank you very much for staying with us.